Good morning. Today is the photo shoot. It is making it official. We are shooting the looks for the media campaign for the Gigi New York Marnie bag. And it's very exciting. Also a little nerve wracking because the shoot is here at my house. The weather has just not been cooperating. It's incredibly hot and humid. We do want outdoor shots, but it's tricky if you don't, you know, own the property, so to speak. So we decided there's plenty of places to shoot looks here in my house, in my front yard, in my backyard, on the sidewalk and street in front of my house, and then full access to bathrooms, air conditioning, refreshment. So here we are. Um, the makeup artist, her name is Olivia, you'll see her shortly, is due to arrive at 7.30. It is 7.23. So let me show you what I'm wearing today. This is look number one. It's a little dark, but you've seen this before. You've seen it on Instagram. It's the Amazon dress from The Drop. And right now I am wearing a very deeply plunging bra and it's maybe a little too boobalicious. So I'm thinking popping this thing off and just putting on the nip covers. It's what they're called, nips. They are fabulous. And if you don't own them already, I'll link them below. And then look number two is this because it's going to be for fall so it's this kind of knit blazer with that top and my trusty frame jeans shoes for the dress are the ones on the right shoes for the jean look are the sam elements on the left i also just for i had no sleep last night for obvious reasons also because we have a sick dog mimi has a little upset tummy and so we were up three times in the night to take her outside a little tired, little puffy eyes, so I'm using the last of my Rodeal Dragon's Blood um, jelly eye patches. I'm gonna leave these on for a little bit. And um, the good news is I don't have to deal with my hair and makeup right now, because she's gonna help me with that. Jenny, my usual hairstylist, came over yesterday and did my hair. My hair always looks better second day, so it should be fine, but if it needs zhuzhing, Olivia can do that. I need to go zhuzh the bags, actually. And, um, Better get moving. People are gonna start coming soon. I know my kids are actually a little fascinated that I am like working with a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> you, they'd be they'd be horribly underwhelmed if they met me. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, here is Olivia, my makeup artist. Hi. This is the first time we're working together, but I feel yes. like we've known each other for a really long time. It's very <laughs> weird. Um. Anyway, here is her kit, and she's using all kinds of fun stuff, and I'm really excited because one of the foundations she's gonna use on me is the Face Atelier, which. I've been dying to get my hands on, well, my face on, for a very long time, and airbrush stuff. How cool is all this? So I will try to pop on throughout the process and show you where we are, but I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this ride because I have not had my face professionally done more than like twice in my entire life, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. Okay, I don't know why I've never used one of these things. I don't know what they're called. We all have seen this tool. I don't know why I didn't know, I didn't know it vibrated. Okay. I'm a bad beauty YouTuber, but oh my gosh, this is awesome and so much easier to use than the new face deal. Okay. And I've been told you get it on Amazon. I'm going to find the link. I'm going to put it in the description box. This is so good. Eyes are done-ish. Still lashes to go, but I'm so excited. All right. I'll check in when we're farther along. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. My hair is just up. Oh my gosh, it's me, but way better. Lashes, everything was airbrushed on except my lips. Um, I'll list below at some point what she used, but the Face Atelier, I'm shade three. I'm so excited, at least to match what's going on down here. I'd probably always wear shade three and just tone it down. Just tone it down, yeah. yeah. All right, the photographer's here. Let's, uh, let's go see what's going on. And or start on the inside, do the inside shots first. The year where everyone brings cardboard boxes and the kids make a giant cardboard city. Oh, how um, cool! So, uh, yeah, so like Josh was like, bring all your boxes. Yeah, yeah we had some of them there. Yeah, between, talk, sorry, right? between Josh, Amazon and then my, the youngest one that's behind him, um, he's moving from one apartment to a new like, little house with his yeah. frat brothers. And so, of course, it's unfortunate. So we're like slowly accumulating things. Yeah, they're all like yeah. there. Yeah, there. Okay. You wrote your little app. Just want to bring all his friends to be like, hey, you, you can have all the 
all this stuff. You just have to. Unfortunately, they're, when you send a kid to school out of state, their friends are everywhere. Yeah, yeah, they're not. One roommate is actually in Bastrop, which is amazing. That's pretty close. One's yeah. from Atlanta and one's from North Carolina. So. Yeah. I was just in Bastrop last weekend where my sister lives. I love it there. Yeah, it's really nice. Alright, yes, it's more of these. This looks good. I don't, like, I wonder if we should switch the bags. Yeah, we should probably. Well, what about the okay. light one might be done? Yeah, we're just gonna do a little test shot and try to move some lights around. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Holding yeah, so I think you're yeah, kind of walking forward again. Is this far enough steps. back or do you want more? No, that looks good right there. Cool. Oh man, I should have my watch on so I get my steps. <laughs> yeah. Or is it gonna hit the pole? Is the pole pulling the bucket? Right here? Yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah, it'll okay. just it'll better off on the cool. side. Cool. So right. Don't be looking that way. Yeah, yeah, people looking that way. It's like smiling. This is so much fun. This is what you do. So fun. Yeah. She's on her way out. Just, just head it out, you know? Just, you know. You know. Oh, I forgot to go back. Just head to HB. You forgot to go back. Yeah. I don't know what to say, HB. It's in the first floor. <laughs> lens is like your go-to? Um, probably like a 50 millimeter is probably like That's the best. The I, yeah. yeah. The 1.8 or? Well this is, so this is a medium format camera so it's different. So this oh. is like a 75 millimeter but it's like equivalent to about a 50. Okay. So come forward just a little bit Yeah, like When I do my close-up makeup shots I always use the 50 1.8. Yeah, 50 is, those are great. Like, the 50 is a nice middle. We call it the nifty 50. Yeah, yeah, it's got that pretty blur. You having fun with my my fancy camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's going really well because we stayed inside the whole time. And here's my professional makeup job. I have lots to tell you and lots to show you, but you're just gonna have to wait until I think mid July. But in the meantime, this is so fun. And look at like we've got lights, we've got people. It's like a real thing. I do know that they sell straps already on the site, so I'm imagining it would be whatever that's priced at. But these are limited edition. Not the bag. Oh. The strap. You could like go to Fiesta with that. Yes. yes. The camera will focus. Yeah, I like that better actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? It's just a little yeah. more natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, it's looking. I think this would be over. a good vertical shot, too. Yeah. Focus it. Ready? One, two. Yeah, that's great. Oh, wow. Do the look down after this one? Yeah. Oh, focus camera. Let's turn it down. House has got to burn down. Bye bye. Do you think the blue strap would be good here, too? Oh, change? actually, yeah. Oh, this yeah, is the, the blue strap. Yeah, I'm with the grab colors that. behind. That's changing. Um, yeah, we I've never seen a scorpion in our house. But we have like a big rock. Now that oh. you've said it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. To be fair, we do back up to 150 acres of green space. Sure, and the, yeah, we get... usually don't. Like when we first moved in the house, sure, because it was a new construction. But once we had all our weep holes stuffed and everything, no. But because of all the rain, yeah, they've all, been they've all shown up. We have this like little rock wall in the back. And uh, there's lots of holes in it. I've been meaning to get some concrete to fill the holes to like, this is like snake like houses. These are all the oh snake God. houses. I mean, as long as it's not a venomous snake, it wouldn't yeah, be the worst the snakes, thing because yeah. they eat all the things you don't want yeah. in your house. We've had a couple little like small snakes in our backyard before because we have like a little trampoline, one of those like small ones for my daughter, and there was like a couple birds sitting on top of it like jumping around. I was like, what is happening? 
And there's a oh, snake under the trampoline. No way. And the birds were trying to eat it. Um, when we first moved in the house, you know, obviously we had oh, the front door pretty. open. And do you know what that is? No, what's that? Um, that's called a mezizah. Uh-huh. So I'm Jewish. And if you, it's tradition for all Jewish homes at the minimum on the front door, angled in, there's a scroll inside it. This is a, a unique this one that actually so opens. Cool. This is one, it's from, how do you say it, Limoges? Limoges? So in all of them, they normally don't open, but in all of them is the Bible verse. I'm pretty sure it's Deuteronomy. And it's, uh, or, yeah, I think it's Deuteronomy. And it literally translated as, you shall have it as a sign upon your doorposts and on your house that you love the Lord. I'm paraphrasing. So they took it literally. That's and, so uh, cool. That is and really you do that. And you put it in here. That's beautiful. Thank you. And then if you wander around my house, like there's one to the door of my husband's study. He's just golf clubs. Um, and you're technically in a really religious home, supposed to have them in every on every entry of every room in the house, except closets and bathrooms. We yeah. just have it on the bedrooms in his office. That's gorgeous. Um, thanks. Neat little little tradition. Of course, lately, with everything that's been going on, you're like, do we need to cover these up? Well, a little bit this someone way. going to burn my house down? Oh, God, I know. I've never had to worry about, like... Go this way a little bit farther. The sun's starting to hit you on the head. There you go. I've never had to worry about, like, being openly Jewish before. Yeah, this light is cool here. It's steamy. It's a little warm. I know. Where's the fan? Let me get the fan for you. Oh. It's still soft enough, you know? And in the afternoon, it's fall shade. There's no doubt. Yeah, it would just be like a nice clean, it's a nice color too. Wow. Wall. <laughs> Walls are a thing. People yeah. pay good money for concrete walls. Yes. I have a friend who has her CVS like staked out the very back of it. It's just the perfect mm. knife. And she like runs and changes in it. Like, this is my wall. This is my, oh, wow. this is my photo studio also wall. Also Nordstrom, outside Nordstrom, good walls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you gotta find. Let me see. We love a good concrete wall. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I need the flash here. I'm going to turn it off for a second. Because this light is... It's so pretty. Yeah, look at it. I think it's just nice without it. Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, my roses are coming back. Can you even see them all? Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. I'm going to adjust. Yeah. Adjust. Help. <laughs> Very, yeah. There oh, yeah, you there go. you go. That's cute. Yeah. Do we want this here or in front of the wall? Yeah. Actually, let's walk to the wall. I like the wall, yeah. yeah. Right about. Yeah, that's cute. Sorry, I'm trying to get back to work. Should I fix my leg? I don't, I don't see that far down. I liked when you're looking off like. That's good. A couple more of these. There are a lot. You got all the birds today. You're right. It's creepy. Yeah. Shoot is over. I'm in my soaking wet. We let the dogs out. Rowdy and Wrigley went outside. Rowdy promptly peed on Wrigley by accident. And Mimi sat in something. So here I am, hair and makeup professionally done. Changed in a just everyday clothes. I can go give two dogs a bath. That's how my life is. Anyway, that was that. That's a wrap. Hope you got some good footage. It was a lot of fun. I will share some of the photos that I that we took with my camera and my phone so you can see it. I cannot wait for this to launch. As I'm speaking, it is June 15th, so it's a long time. Well, it's not a long time, but it feels like a long time to wait to share these this video with you. But... I should have led with this, and I know I'll say it many, many times. This it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's been on the top of my dream list, goal list, bucket list, ever since I really got into YouTube. And the fact that it happened is 100% because of everybody watching on the other side of this camera. Your viewing, your subscriptions, your comments, your support. This is not my accomplishment. This is all of ours, especially yours. So thank you, thank you so much for trusting me, for spending time with me over the years, and I cannot wait for you to get your hands 
on this bag. All right, I have to go dry off dog number two. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I really hope you see you in the next one. Bye.